Hello. What we're going to do is we're going to create um, just a simple movement in Game Maker Studio 2. So let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do, I've opened up a brand new uh, document, a new project. So let's create a sprite for the character. It's going to be a 32 by 32 square for this. It's going to be green. Why not? And let's have a little look, make sure the origin's in the middle. Collision mask looks okay. It doesn't look okay, so I'm going to change that to manual. Spread it out to the entire thing. <clears throat> That's not really going to be very important for this tutorial either. Um, it's done last thing, just call it S player. Okay, now I'm going to make an object. This is just going to be our player object, so O player. And I'm going to go into the create event first of all. And I need to create a couple of variables. We'll have horizontal speed equals zero. We'll have move speed equals five. And we will have Excel for the acceleration equals not point three. Okay. So how we're going to be using this is this is like our max move speed. Uh, this will be the current value that we're moving either left or right. So if you're not moving at all, then you're moving at zero. But if you move to the right, then you're going to increase this value by your acceleration until it reaches your, your move speed. That's how the movement's going to work. Um, and it won't be able to go over the maximum either. And we can also have it set up so whenever you stop giving input, um, it slows down, it decelerates back to zero as well. So let's go into the step event and let's create our inputs first of all. So let's just do left and right to begin with. Um, so let's say key left, no, we'll do key right first. Key right equals keyboard check. And then I'm going to use B as my right key. So you have to put in ORD, D, goes that up. And then we'll do key left. And then I'll be using A for this. Keyboard check, ORD, A. Okay, so we've got our inputs. Uh, what do we want to do next? Next, um, we want to calculate which direction we're moving in and using that we will also calculate whether your max move speed is 5 or negative 5 because if it's if it's minus 5 then that means you're going to the left that's what you're aiming for if it's 5 then then you move it to the right that's what you're aiming for so to calculate that we can use a temporary variable so var <clears throat> this will be our we'll call it move equals key right minus key left, which will give us a positive number if we're moving to the right, or a negative number if we're moving to the left. Key right minus key left. Just put that in brackets. Then I'll multiply that by the move speed, which we've created was five. So if we're moving to the right, this will be plus five. If we're moving to the left, it'll be minus five. And if we're not moving at all, it'll be zero. So in essence, we're always going to be moving towards this value by our acceleration. So what we're going to do next is horizontal speed. This is the value that we're actually going to manipulate uh, and apply that directly to our x coordinate at the end of all the calculations. So HSPD equals ah. So this is where I've used a little bit of a sneaky trick, and it's it's an absolute godsend. Um, and it's not that difficult. I've used a script 
uh, pre-made script, which I will provide a link to to download it. If you're set, well, you don't need to download it. You just need to copy and paste it. It'll be in like a, a paste bin. Um, I'll show you it over here. It's called Approach. And the way this works, it looks quite small and simple, and it is. Basically, let's see. So this is how we're going to use it. We're going to write approach A, B, then the amount. So we're going to move the value A towards B by the amount. So imagine A is our horizontal speed. I guess I don't need, we don't need to imagine it. I can actually show you how we can use it. Okay, so horizontal speed equals approach. And what we're going to do, we're going to approach HSBD. So HSBD is going to approach move, <clears throat> which is going to be plus 5, minus 5, or 0 by the acceleration. So this will be called once per frame. So it means like each frame, if it's 5, it's going to add 0.3 until it reaches 5. And if you're already at 5, then it's not going to go over. And it's, it's very good because it gives you peace of mind that all the calculation has been done for you already. You just get to use this easy function um, that handles both conditions of whether it's going left or right, whether the value you're moving towards is negative or positive. You don't need to have a bunch of logic in your code. It's all wrapped up into this function. So to show you that this is all working, let's go x plus equals hsbd. And then that's literally it. That's five lines of code there. Let's go into a room. Let's use the correct layer. And let's see if this is working. Okay, so perhaps you can see it slowing down there. Obviously, it's a bit tricky uh, whenever you can't feel the inputs, but... I think you should be able to see, like, whenever I'm, like, changing direction, it it's slows down and then goes and it slows down and then goes in the opposite direction. It doesn't, you know, it's not. Let's, perhaps you'll know what it looks like without this. I'll show you anyway. Okay, so just to show you the difference in the movement, if you weren't to use this approach variable, this is really the magic that's given us a smooth movement. Um, and all, we, all I need to do to show that is Comment that out, and instead of that, we would write HSPD equals move, and then H plus equals HSPD. Really, this is kind of redundant in here. Just put move in there as well, it would work the same. And let's see if you can see on screen how different that is. Yeah, I think that's quite obvious. No, it's not. It's not smooth, smooth at all. It's it's as soon as you press down, you're immediately at five speeds instead of ramping up. And then it doesn't slow it down either. So to demonstrate this once more, we can change the acceleration, make the acceleration lower, which means it will take longer to reach your max speed. Oh, my bad. And that's really, really takes a while to speed up and to slow down. And that can be useful in all sorts of situations. So, Hopefully that's useful. I think that's very useful. Um, I've been using it a lot anyway when I've been practicing.